little piglets. These guys, uh, the little boys, got castrated on Sunday. They are all doing very well. And it's now Tuesday. And everybody made it. They didn't lose any. They're all they're all hiding underneath a little goat hut over here. It's kind of their new hideout, new hangout. But it's colder, a little colder right now, so it's a good spot for them. Give them this little pile of straw. Checking that out. They definitely did not like the whole castrating process, which I didn't like it myself. But uh, it's just part of part of farm life, I guess. It has to happen. They can't all be kept as males. The boars, unfortunately, pigs and boar goats as well. They get uh, a little older. They start to get a stink, an odor, odor to them. And then that smell will actually tra transfer into the meat. So you definitely, if you want to raise the animal for meat, you have to, <laughs> you have to castrate or, uh, yeah, castrate them, I guess they both get castrated. Just because you don't want that smell getting in your meat. It just, it gives it an off taste, a nasty taste, and it's, it's not nice. And also, sometimes they're, uh, when the males still have their testicles, they sometimes have, they got more testosterone, they have attitudes, they get mean, so they're a lot easier to deal with after they've been castrated. So like I said, it's not, not one of the most pleasant parts of the farm life, but it's something that has to be done. And I, I think it was a good idea to give these guys some straw, because this is hilarious. Some of these little guys definitely have attitudes. They push each other around, try to bite each other. So at the same time that we castrated them, we also gave iron shots. Uh, pigs that are not raised on dirt need to have iron, otherwise they become anemic and then they just they get sick and die. So we had to give them each one cc of iron just to keep them healthy these guys are you know they're considered outdoor rays they're not in a confinement barn but they're still not on dirt and even if you have them on dirt if your dirt doesn't have a lot of iron in it you know there's always there's always a chance that they're still gonna have issues with that so if it's if it's an available option it's a good thing to do not that difficult to give a little piglet a shot just a one cc in the net Everybody's favorite one is this little orange one here. Unfortunately, that little orange one there is a male. You guys are all cute though. You sure are gaining weight fast. They are a little over two weeks old now. As you can see, they're getting very playful. Somebody must have just got kicked by mom and stepped on. They're filling out, they're getting pretty stocky from what they were two weeks ago when they were born. Just solid little guys now. In a confinement barn setting, they would be weaned from their mother around 23 days, I believe. We'll keep them longer than that. They're starting to eat pellets. We've got some pellets for them. Unfortunately, the setup that I have right now isn't the greatest for feeding little piglets separately. So, mom really likes the pellets too. So I've just kind of been, I started throwing handfuls of pellets in here and then the little pigs will start digging through the straw and finding them. If I fill up a pan with pellets, mom will just ditch her feed and go for the pellets. 
must be some pretty good stuff. Take a look at the pellets that we're using. It's a real small pellet compared to like what the goat feed is. We'll toss some more in there. I think Wilma's already looking for it. You like those, don't you? Hello, guys. They're figuring it out. Man, they sure like that straw, though. You guys are silly. So the pellets, my tag got ripped off. <sighs> Complete swine starter for pigs weighing 15 to 20 pounds. That's what we got here. And the breakdown is probably very similar to what we're feeding our larger pigs. Protein, lysine, fat, fiber, calcium, calcium, phosphorus, salt, selenium, and zinc. You think I got more pellets for you, Wilma? <clears throat> I already gave her some extra feed tonight, too. Just trying to help her keep her milk production up and it's a little colder now so it's always nice to have a little extra feed when it's a little cold, colder out unfortunately we'll probably sell most of the piglets we keep them and feed them you know we'd end up keeping them all summer feeding them and then by the time they go to market Unfortunately, I found that most people just don't really want to pay um, the cost of what it what it costs to raise a pig. So I found that it's actually I come out better in the long run, come out better on my end if I sell them as piglets. Wilma's eating, and the piglets are eating. She's a, she's been a real good mom. She's a guilt, which means this is her first time ever having piglets. <clears throat> she hasn't laid on any of them. No, she's been super relaxed. When we castrated them the other day, you know, they're squealing. Oh, they're squealing so bad. And, you know, she was obviously a little bit concerned, but I had a, a sow a couple years ago that she was trying to come over the fence. You know, we had a fence this tall, three feet tall, and that girl, I thought for sure she was coming over that fence and I thought she was gonna kill us. So Wilma is super relaxed. I really like her temperament. She's been a real good mom. So I'm hoping that she'll continue with that. We'll probably breed her back before too long. Comes into heat uh, four days after the piglets are weaned. So once we wean the piglets, we'll look at our timeline because the gestation on pigs is three months, three weeks, and three days. So we'll look at um, when she would be farrowing at that point and then decide if we're gonna breed her right away or if we'll wait. 
it's not really the best to have piglets too late. You know, if we had them, say, like in August, it might be more difficult to sell just because people don't want to raise pigs through the winter. It's a lot more work here in Minnesota. You got to carry water, keep your water from freezing up over the winter. And, you know, a lot of people just don't want to deal with that. So we'll have to look at, look at those different things before we decide to breed her again. We might end up waiting breed her over the winter so that she'll have spring piglets again. But we'll decide that here in a few weeks. These guys don't usually tear around too much. They usually come out, they get something to eat, and then they're back under their hut. So I, I'm thinking that they are going to be very tired here pretty soon. You guys got some fresh straw to curl up in, so you're going to sleep real good, aren't you? Yes, you are. Pigs are, they're a very smart animal. You notice back in this corner over here where that little guy is, he, he's actually over there peeing right now. But pigs will have a, a space in their pen where they'll go to the bathroom. So that's kind of their spot back there where they're peeing and pooping and uh, then they're sleeping over on this side. So they like to keep their area where they sleep clean. Uh, I always try to keep Wilma's feed pans over here as well so that they're out of the dirty space. But um, a lot of times in confinement barns, they'll get, you know, the, what they'll say is the pigs are turned around. And so they'll, they'll start using the bathroom area right in front of the feeder. And you can just take and, and scoop the feces and all the waste away from the feeder, put it in a different spot in the pen. And, you know, you have to do that several times, maybe for a couple days. But you can get the... You can get the pigs turned around and get them going to the bathroom in the proper place. They're a pretty smart animal. You guys are probably about ready to call it a night. So we're going to let you guys be, and I'm going to go get myself something to eat. So well, thanks for watching, everybody. Piglets are always... They sure are fun to watch at this at this age. Turning around in the straw like they are. So keep checking back for more updates on piglets, goats, sheep, chickens. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like our page. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on TikTok. We appreciate all your views. And I'm going to get something out soon with uh, t-shirts, sweatshirts. Um, we got some, got a logo made up and we've got some shirts and stuff. we got some merch. So uh, maybe we can get some people interested in some merchandise. So once again, thanks for watching, guys.